Hey guys, it's me, Ari of www.flatnet.org. As my Twitter followers know, my Facebook followers, and my blog followers, I am taking down my lot. That is why I have like this unevenness going on right now. I basically, I wanted to take them down because I was very curious as to what my free-flowing loose hair would look like. Plus, I made the big mistake. Um, I told my followers, you know, how to take out um, lint from their dreadlocks and things of that nature. But as far as preventing the problem myself, I wasn't wearing a scarf at night. And I know I was supposed to to prevent it, but it kind of makes me hot and stuff like that. But now I know I'm just going to have to deal with it, because especially since I'm deciding to take down my lot. It's going to be very important that I wear a scarf every night to prevent breakage. But anyways, um, because of that, my lip situation got a little out of hand, and pretty much I wasn't feeling it. But I think the um, biggest thing for me was just that I was, I'm really curious as to what my natural hair is really like. And I say that because when um, I started my lock, well before I started it, I had a lot of texturizer and even some relaxer still on the ends of my hair. So I never really did get the chance to see what my, what my natural hair was really like. Then when, of course, I started the locks, I trimmed off or well, cut off all the um, texturizer or any chemicals that were remaining on it. So I never got the chance to experiment with it and see um, how it was like. I was always under the assumption that my hair wasn't, um, I guess, manageable. Um, it, I thought I probably wouldn't like the texture, but now that I'm taking out my locks and seeing what my texture is actually like, I'm loving it. It's beautiful. Um, all I notice is that it pretty much requires um, a lot of moisture, and when I take them down and I start styling it, I know the majority of my styling is going to be done when it's wet because it's not too fun to um, deal with when it's dry. But otherwise, I'm really happy with it and I'm excited. I was really scared at first to take them down because I was so used to um, having the locks and I was afraid what if I don't look right without it. But now that I've been taking them down and seeing what my hair actually looks like, I'm excited and I'm ready for the change. I have about 45 more locks to take down at this point. So I'm going to try to do 10 every day and possibly like Saturday morning or something, maybe I'll do 15 and hopefully I can get it done. I may or may not, I'm aiming to do that, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Because I'm pretty much busy with, you know, work and stuff like that, so it may not work out that way. But I'm going to aim towards that and update you guys. And possibly later on tonight, show you a video of what it looks like or how it is rather that you take down locks. But to sum it up very quickly, taking down locks, pretty much all you're doing is making sure that your locks are very moisturized. What I found helpful was actually sleeping with um, tons of conditioner in my locks and then covering it with a shower cap and then waking up and then picking out. And it was very moist and easy to deal with. And the key to taking down locks is moisture. You don't want to take them down on dry hair. If you do that, you're going to damage and lose way more hair than you need to because when you take down locks, you're going to lose a lot of hair anyway because there's a lot of dead hair in there and things of that nature. But if you are working with it when it's dry, it's going to be harder to take down and you're definitely going to lose more hair than you need to. So pretty much that's my technique. I'm making sure that it's very moist when I'm working with it. Using tons of conditioner and a rat tail comb with a metal end, which I will show. I don't have it near me right now, but I'll show it in my next video that hopefully I'll be able to do tonight. And that's it. And I'm picking from the very bottom of the lock up. You never want to start here 
and then work your way down because you're going to definitely share that way. It's easy to just start at the very bottom and pick your way up. So see, I'll just be in the street and show you guys, but yes, I'm taking down my locks and in one way it's sad because my lock journey has ended for at least this time period. But I'm on to a new journey and I'm going to be experiencing free flowing loose hair hopefully by Sunday. And I hope to update you guys and let you know how that's going. Thank you for watching my channel and make sure you comment, um, subscribe, suggest, have a question for me, so feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.